Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Steve Molesberg Show. Um, I'm going to put up the cartoon again that we uh, showed you a little earlier because now we're about to introduce the uh, cartoonist. Um, and there it is. There's the cartoon in question that's causing the stir, or at least caused the stir at the daily costs um, and uh, caused a stir of a reaction by cartoonist Ted Rawl, who joins us once again. Hello, Ted. Hi, Steve. How are you? Good. How are you? Uh, well, you know, I've been busy. I know. Last couple of days. Well, when, when I when I read that you know that you were be accused of being a, a racist uh, by the Daily Kost because of an Obama cartoon, I said we got to get him on because this is you know this is this is just insanity carried uh, way way too far, and usually it's directed at you know the conservatives. So what'd you think when the Daily Kost uh, you know accused you of? Uh, well, what exactly did they accuse you of besides? being a racist i mean did they specify they talked about what the, the features on obama's face or whatever yeah they accused me of uh drawing in a quote-unquote intolerable way of drawing the president to look like a monkey and uh in the in the vein of uh racist cartoons uh you know from american history from the 19th century and so on um and you know the thing that's uh that's that's really baffling about this is I've been drawing Obama since 06, and I've been drawing him just the same way since 09. You know, so it's been four years that these drawings have been in, in front of tens of millions of Americans. They've been online. They've been in a, in a hundred newspapers. Uh, it's, they're not hidden from view. I do five cartoons a week. At least one features the president. So we're talking about hundreds of cartoons, possibly even maybe a thousand cartoons, that have the same exact image uh, from, a different, from different points of view. And if you look at my work, you'll see that I draw everyone the same. You know, it's like if you think probably a, you know, a lot of people have made the comparison between the way I draw and The, and the Simpsons. And I, I was going to say, I, I was going to say yeah. he looks like a black Homer Simpson. Right. And it's like, and the, the thing is that like if you draw, if I, when I draw a white guy, uh, you know, they're no prettier. <laughs> yeah. uh, if, if you look at the way I drew Bush, my God, it was much worse. Um, you know, I, uh, it's Obama, if anything, gets a pretty, pretty light treatment uh, as a, as, you know, from an art standpoint. Uh, I don't make him look that ugly. Um, I, I feel. And, why? You know, why? Why? Things, why? Well, let me stop you. Why do you give him special treatment? Because he's black or because he's a Democrat or both? You know, it's funny um, when I with Bush. Uh, it, it's more about the artistic process than politics, honestly, is the, answer, is the short answer to your question. Mm -hmm. um, the, the, when, I, when I came in with Bush, I developed sort of this generalissimo El Busho persona, and it started to not even look like him at all. It wasn't about looking like him. It was more the way that uh, Doonesbury used to do, uh, I think it was first President Bush or maybe Clinton as a waffle. Uh, so it was more of a symbol and more of a stand-in. With Obama, I wanted him to look more just like him. Um, it, I never got around to figuring out sort of a character that he could be. I kept trying different things. I had like a Hello Kitty thing going on at one point to show that, uh, you know, he was trading on his, on, uh, you know, on appearances more than substance. But it was not really a political decision. I certainly haven't pulled my punches with him uh, politically. I've been very, very hard on him. Um, and, you know, I, I decided from day one that you know what would be racist for a political cartoonist to do would be to give the president special treatment because he's black. Um, that would be racist. Do you do you, uh, you do know. you feel that that uh, members of the media are doing that? Oh, I mean, look, this <laughs> look, this is a conservative show. You're a conservative host, and I I know, and you have a conservative audience. But yeah, uh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, you have to be honest here. There's no doubt uh, from. The, uh, you know, it's not a secret that, uh, you know, most editors and producers are, are Democrats. And this president really gets away with a lot more uh, than, than previous presidents. And I would say he gets away with more than Clinton did, too. Um, you know, when Clinton really caught, you know, under the, during the Lewinsky scandal, he took all sorts of abuse. Uh, but the, I think the, uh, the media is generally a little bit softer uh, maybe you know, significantly softer on Democrats than Republicans. And this president in particular has really benefited from kid gloves all along. There's no question. Because, and, of, his, because like, of his race. I think that's part of it. I mean, certainly a lot of my peers have told me, uh, you know, fellow editorial cartoonists who are liberals, 
uh, they, they either literally draw him like a white guy, like no shading or anything, or no, no features that indicate that he's black, or uh, they, they just don't – they try not to draw him at all because they're afraid of being, uh, uh, of being the center of this kind of controversy. Wow. And, you know, it, it, it happens – uh, you know, race is the third rail of American politics, and in editorial cartooning, which relies partly on caricature, uh, you're going to get into, you know, it's, it's, it's difficult. Now, I decided early on that I was, I was going to decide not to care. And uh, look, it's, I don't feel that I draw the president in, a, in an ape-like way. It's the last thing that's on my mind. It's never occurred to me to draw him that way. And uh, when I, you know, honestly, I think that most people who look at this stuff it's in their head. You know, it's not in mine. It never occurred to me. I mean, it's been, there was one little kerfluffle in 2011, two years into it on it. Again, a democratic party blog. I'm not even going to say a liberal blog, mm-hmm. but a democratic party blog called democratic underground. Uh, and daily cost is really not a lefty blog. It is a democratic party blog. It's own, it's a uh, self-stated purpose is to elect more and better Democrats. It's not about progressivism. It's not about liberalism. It's not about socialism. It's about getting more Democrats elected. And why do so, you think, though, and we're talking to Ted Rawl, cartoonist here on the Steve Malzberg Show, who daily costs, who, by the way, I, I think you, you, you wrote on your blog that uh, they don't pay you. So you're, you, you, don't, you really don't, you know, you're not going to change your way, certainly not for, for hardly anybody, but certainly not for somebody who doesn't pay you. But why do you think, if, if this is how you've been drawing the president for so long, why do you think, they, they came down on you or accuse you now? Oh, it's because I only started posting to their blog recently. Ah, okay. They have a section where anybody can post. And I started about, a, I guess it was about two months ago. Um, and, I, and from day one, the, everything I posted that was critical of the president, uh, I got this, this uh, you know, huge uh, amount of hatred. And they have this system where you can vote uh, that you like or dislike something, and it gets hidden or censored if you don't like it. <laughs> well, most of the people there are Democrats. <laughs> so anything that criticizes Democrats or Obama get, goes away, like he just did. I mean, they, oh, know, there you are. We lost you for a second. I thought we lost you for a second. Oh, uh, <laughs> sorry. I'm right here. Yeah. No, no you, said any, you said anybody who criticizes Obama, and then there was silence, and I said, goes away, and, and then you didn't answer. <laughs> It's the NSA. I don't no, know what it is, yeah. But no, it's like yeah, anyone who criticizes Democrats or Obama is just vanished. It's, they're, they're like a Soviet unperson, you know, like in 1984. <laughs> yeah. They're just gone. The cut out of the art, cut out of the uh, photo from the top of the Kremlin. And that's, that's, you know, that's totally what happened to me. From the, from the beginning, I had all sorts of negative votes. It's about the politics. I mean, if you look at the vast majority of people who, were, who came down on me, these are white Democrats white guy Democrats who are just using this as an excuse. I mean, look, get ready, because in 2016, if Hillary is the nominee, it's just going to be sexism will be the new racism. Uh, it's, you know, it's, that's, that's the thing. And it's cheap. You know, it's pretty poor tea. You know what I mean? It's just, it's real, it's real cheap. It's tacky. It's, well, it's that's exactly you, so you don't have anything. That's exactly what I was going to ask you. I was going to ask you if you think that uh, that that Hillary will will find protection. I knew she would from the you know from the media in general. Like when she ran against Rick Lazio here in New York for the Senate, and they were on the debate. They were debating at a debate, and they, he walked over to her with a had, gave her a contract to sign. And all you heard afterwards, he invaded the space of a woman. You know, oh my God, he did this. He wouldn't do this to a man. So I know that if it's Hillary, they're gonna if you if you dare criticize Hillary, you're anti-woman. Just like if you dare criticize uh, Obama, you're anti you're anti-black. But I was just wondering, I was going to ask you if you thought that that kind of gender thing would resonate as much uh, in your profession or, you know, as applied to you as race does with Obama. And yeah, obviously the answer is yes. Uh, I mean, yes. I mean, look, it's, it's, the thing is, nobody uh, appreciates being accused of racism or sexism in the United States. But it's doubly worse when you're on the left and it's triply worse when you're a lefty political cartoonist or, or, or commentator, because it means that they're going to you're, you're going to be discredited with your with people who should be your fans, who should be buying your books. There are going to be lots of people who will walk into a bookstore when my next book comes out and say, oh, Ted Rawl. That guy's a racist, or in 2016, they'll say uh, sexist. Right. All right. Well, let me ask you. Uh, all right. Does, so, does this make you, you know, does this make you 
uh, sympathize, empathize uh, for, for with with conservatives who are branded that also simply for making a misstatement or saying something they regretted once or just disagreeing with Obama and being branded a racist by the liberal media. I mean, do you do you do you now have a different perspective on on them? Well, I, I guess I do. I have to slice, the, you know, I have to slice those uh, those, those the people who've been victimized. Sure, by, sure, it's by, not by a blanket statement, but yeah, different into different into different places. I mean, I think I've heard things that I think were racially offensive, upset, you know, uh, and I've also heard things that absolutely were taken out of context and were unfair, and where it's just on the on the politics. Uh, and in I, I have, and you know, it's funny. I had. I had cons- I have several conservative friends who are uh, also cartoonists, and they were telling me back in '08 that they were getting beaten up uh, for criticizing Obama and just be- you know. And I was like, you know, I didn't pay that much attention. You know, first they came for the first they came yeah. for your Republican cartoonist right. friends, then they came for you. So it's like that's kind of um, you know. I mean, it, it, it's certainly something that uh, you know we are all as political cartoonists aware of, and we're all frankly a little bit afraid. And if you look. You know, at, at the collections of editorial cartoons over the last four or five years, uh, look, I mean, people are too nice to Obama. Uh, they just are. I mean, this is not the job. The job isn't to be nice to the president. I don't care who, who he is. I mean, if the president does something nice you, or something good that you agree with, you shouldn't do a cartoon about it. <laughs> you should just tell your, your spouse, hey, I like what the president did, and turn the page and then do something critical. Right, right. If you don't have, it, it's the opposite. You know, I mean, editorial cartooning is like, if you don't have anything nice to say, come sit next to me. Now, Ted, uh, Ted you, remember, you remember the cartoons of, of, of uh, Condoleezza Rice, a.k.a. Aunt Jemima. Right when, sure. during her confirmation hearings, I don't know. If the, I don't think those were yours, right? No, I did. I did. I did do. Uh, I did do an anti uh, Condoleezza Rice cartoon was, and two anti Colin Powell cartoons. Oh, was that the one? That uh, was the one with the bird on, on bushes, you know, with the with the. That's fi- um, that's my colleague, my friend. All right, all right, all right. But so, so what? You, I mean, there was really no outrage then, and they were they were to me those were racist cartoons. No, I mean they look. Me and several other people were accused. Of, of doing of racism by conservatives for picking on black Republicans in the Bush administration. And it's true that those accusations got no traction in the media. Uh, and I think it's because, you know, it was it was against Republicans. Right. And now uh, when it's against not only a Democrat, but on top of that against Obama, yep. uh, you know, of course, it's just worse. But I mean, look, it's right, not going to change anything. Let me let me know. Well, I got to go. But let me know if you get audited. <laughs> I will. All right. They'll be very bored. I have a very, very conservative Republican account. Hey, Ted, Ted, good to talk to you. Thank you very much. Take care. Take Bye. care. Ted Rawl, ladies and gentlemen. It's, cra- it's crazy. It's crazy. It's insane. And he's absolutely right that Hillary will be insulated in the same way but by her gender. And if you dare to disagree agree with her or attack her politically, it's because you can't stand the thought of a woman. That's how the left operates. Coming back, Steve Malsberg.